Hello, and congratulations to the Queen Mary class of 2020. My name is Chris Hadfield. I'm an astronaut. I've flown in space three times. I flew the American Space Shuttle twice, and I flew the Russian Soyuz once, helped build two space stations, lived on the International Space Station for five months, and commanded a spaceship, commanded the International Space Station. And all of that happened because of the training and education that I'd gotten during my life. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It's a huge honor for me, Michael Hastings, Lord Dr. Hastings of Scarisbrick CBE, to be with you and to say congratulations, well done. Hi, I'm Martha Lane Fox. I'm an entrepreneur and I am a crossbench member of the House of Lords. And I just wanted to send my massive congratulations to all of you for completing your degree. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm Jacqueline de Rojas, president of Tech UK. And I couldn't be prouder than to be with you here today, celebrating the end of your studies at Queen Mary University of London. Big hello to the class of 2020. Congratulations as you prepare to enter that exclusive club, the alumni of Queen Mary University of London. Hello to the Queen Mary class of 2020. My name is Catherine May and I was Queen Mary class of 1988. I've gone on since my time at Queen Mary to have a career in business. Class of 2020, very many congratulations. We're all so proud of you. Uh, it must be fantastic after all these years of hard work. Those long nights, endless cups of coffee. I'm sure you must be absolutely relieved to have these exams and this year behind you. You've all worked so hard and under such difficult circumstances. I think you should be doubly proud of yourselves. No other cohort has had to complete their final year of studies during a global pandemic. I'm imagining that I'm looking at thousands of you in a big hall. It is a magnificent sight, you in your wonderful graduation rooms. And, and a space flight is fascinating the way it's sort of divided into stages. You have launch, and then you have the mission itself, and then you have a landing at the end of it. And what you're going through now as the class of 2020 is launch. You are, you are launching into the rest of your life. And it's, it's an amazing thing. You feel like you've you reached some important threshold, but in reality, all you've done is give yourself the tools to be able to enable the rest of your life. The, in an astronaut term, Today is the day that you are starting into the mission of the rest of your life. So you step out now into a world that none of us anticipated. The coronavirus has changed our thinking about just about everything, whether we've enjoyed the last few months or not. The world ahead is no longer as secure as we once thought it might be. But that doesn't mean to say that you need to be troubled. You need to step into it with confidence you've achieved something very significant, a qualification. You haven't wasted the years that have gone by. You've put them to good and final effect. Now it's a stepping stone, it's a building block, it's a way forward. Even at this very strange time, when nothing is quite as it was, there are a whole load of people who are saluting your achievements and really looking forward to seeing what you go on and do as you make your mark on the world. Even though you can't go necessarily and have the same kind of parties, say thank you to your tutors, give each other a big congratulatory hug, please know that you are much appreciated and all of the hard work that you've done over the last few years to get to this point is going to be so important. You have all shown that you are flexible and agile and resilient. These are all skills that employers need much more of. And I encourage you to highlight this to them in your interviews as you enter the job market or go into further study. It's many decades since I finished my formal education, but I still remember the feeling as if it were yesterday. Relief and fear, pretty much in equal proportions. Back then, I couldn't have imagined how life would work out. It's gone well, as a look at my Wikipedia entry will show unless of course it's been hacked by someone I've annoyed over the years. I'm sure you'll have a big impact as I've seen so many other people do as they've moved on from Queen Mary. 
the great thing is now that you can actually use Kamara and Clark's textbook as a door stopper legitimately, although I'm sure you did it before. You've accomplished a great deal. And uh, as every astronaut feels when the engine shut down and you get to space, you can now proceed with confidence. You have learned things. Not only that, but you've learned how to learn. A and you're now in the position, you're gonna have a, a lifelong learning capability to, to improve your levels of competence. Speaking of the world that you are going to be entering after your studies, I'd be lying if I said that it is a certain and known future. But your education and your experience here at Queen Mary has equipped you with great tools to navigate what comes next. We all took different paths to get here. And whilst you won't all achieve and measure success in the same way, I'm confident that you will continue to succeed constrained only by your ambition. As B.B. King once said, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. It hasn't always been plain sailing. The child of a single parent, my father abandoned us soon after my birth. I grew up in the back streets in the East Midlands. My wonderful mother gave me unconditional love and instilled the values I hold dear today. I attended rather run-down state schools, but my great teachers infused their pupils with the joy of learning. I have experienced prejudice and evil, but they've been swamped by the goodwill and kindness shown to me, often by strangers. The sad days will pass, and with your achievement today, a bright future for you all will begin. A degree from Queen Mary University will be your starting point of a wonderful and fulfilled life. It's really important who your crew is. So be deliberate. Who are you going to go through life with? Not everybody that you went through school with is someone that is naturally someone who should be part of your life. Be deliberate. You have your family and you have your friends and you'll have your coworkers, but be conscious of that. Who your crew is is gonna very much determine uh, what type of person you're gonna be and, and where your mission in life will take you. Now I'm a huge fan of the work of Stephen Covey. Some of you will have seen his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Well, let me just quote you habit number two, because I want to leave you with this one and suggest to you that you use it as a bit of a guideline for your future. Here it comes. Begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind. Know where you'd really like to end up in life. As president of Tech UK, I've made it my absolute priority to champion the benefits of an inclusive workplace. And I encourage a more diverse range of individuals into our world. And it wouldn't be right to finish without an ask. Please look around the table and invite the voices that are not heard. I look to you to speak up if you're the one who can offer an unheard perspective even when it feels difficult or perhaps uncomfortable. Our two principles have guided me through those years. First, for every big decision, to propose, to move to America, to start my own business, I follow my heart and not my head. Regrets, and I've had a few, have always resulted from letting my head, logic, prevail over my spirit. And second, I believe that I have a sacred duty to do good by sharing my luck with those who are less fortunate than me. One thing I would advise you all to do as you go out and make your own impact on life in the business world is be brave. Don't stand back from any opportunities. Grab them and get on with them. I think that's really important. Another thing is to use your brain. You've been taught great learning skills during your time as a student at the university. And you should never forget that. Keep on learning, using your brain, putting that to work on everything around you. And finally, my third B, just be your best. Bring your best thinking and your best self to everything you do, whether that's in the business world or in other things that you might find yourself working on. No mission ever goes as planned. If you want to make God laugh, just tell him your plans. I know when I graduated as, as the class of 82, I had all sorts of plans and none of them 
went as I expected. But they were all somewhere within the scope of my dreams. And the launch and the mission and the landing, that doesn't just happen once in your life, it happens many times. You will have worked hard at something, you reach a new threshold, you do this thing for a day or a month or a year or a decade, and then there's a natural end to it and you go on to the next phase of life. Please be ambitious and never cynical. My good friend Jeffrey Sachs from Columbia University says that the single most important commitment any of us can ever find to change the world in the future is to end cynicism. So don't be cynical about the world. Don't be cynical about yourself or your friends or those that you've studied with. Be optimistic, positive, step on. Follow your heart. Two, help those less fortunate than you. And three, live by your motto. But I hope you are as excited as your future are beyond Queen Mary as I am. But please do remember to keep in touch with the alumni community who will continue to support you. What each one of you may end up doing, I wish you well. I can and I do wish you success, fulfillment, good health. But above all, I wish you happiness. I'm sure that there must be some sadness that you can you are missing out on the usual celebrations because of the pandemic. I'm assured that the university is going to throw a big party for the class of 2020 when the pandemic ends. I hope I get invited. But the entire universe, just as it is for an astronaut, is waiting there at, at your window, at, at your fingertips, for you to discover and to understand and to improve. We need some really brilliant ideas over the next decade. We're facing into some pretty big challenges, whether it's all of the things out of this pandemic, or whether it's the climate catastrophe upon us. So I am so thrilled that it's going to be another class of brilliant brains getting out there, getting into the world, who are going to continue to work hard and make a difference. But all the very best and have a fantastic career ahead of you. Uh, and do remember us all at Bath and the London. Congratulations to the 2020 alumni of QMU London. So welcome to my world as an alumni of the university and I look forward to seeing what you get up to in your lives post Queen Mary. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Good luck. Whatever you do, be clear who you want to be at the end. The choices you'll make should work towards that. I wish you great success. Dream them happen. For in the words of the song, Class of 2020, you are simply the best. So take a look around. Look at where we are right now. Look at your classmates, but mostly look at yourself. And I wish you absolutely all my best in your mission in life, in the places that your rocket ship is going to take you, and in the future that you are helping to create. Congratulations.